How's it going everyone? Bo here for BZ Up and today we are going with another test, test your, your spot everyone spot. and here we are still in the Naharan River because as we uh, talked about with the Black Crappie episode there are a lot of uniques here at the Naharan River uh, far more than when what we'd had in past maps leading up to this level uh, what is it level 8 level 10 area so uh, that's uh, that's what we're dealing with today and next up since we did the black crappie last episode, this episode we're doing the white crappie. So we're going to be looking up a, uh, a uh, another content creator in the YouTube space who uh, has a good unique white crappie area we're going to be testing their spot. So if you're looking forward to this, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, pack your tackle boxes and let's get into it everyone. Alrighty, today we are going to be testing the spot by a creator named as Bulkan, and this was like three years ago that he posted this, so I, just, I, I really hope it still works, but uh, here we go, we got the white crappie here in the Heron River, he is going to be fishing on this big, big, uh, I don't even know, a warm day, I guess is the best way to describe it, um, he goes through some gear here, he's got, he's got a heavy chaser, uh, he's just, you know, a, a bottom rod of, of, of sorts, and then he's also got a match rod, I believe. Yeah, another match rod here. Uh, small minnows on one, leeches on the other. However, um, as he's been fishing and he ends up catching uh, the fish at the end here, uh, fishing in this location, you can see the logs we were just fishing at uh, for the black crappie in the background. But right here over to the side is where he was fishing for the crappie. He ends up getting the bite on the bottom rod. However, he's not using the leeches that he was in the beginning of the episode. He ends up catching it on a number one hook uh, with small minnows. So uh, that is what we are going to try, everybody. Hey, you. So you say you like fishing and hunting in the outdoors, but you're not following the modern day outdoorsman? <laughs> You know it's cool, right? I mean, I don't want to pressure you into doing anything, but uh, give it a shot. And I'll make you a deal. You subscribe, and I'll let you watch the videos for free. And that's a great price. Plus, we have cool shirts. So follow the MDO today. I have got the telescopic uh, float rod here. Um, I'm gonna actually switch. I'm gonna throw this in. I'm gonna throw this in here, and then we're going to toss it onto this rod because actually the chubby will probably work. I'm I'm being silly. Okay, never mind. Changing my mind. Um, and then we've got over here. We got a feeder rod. Uh, the big old big Ali with the big river 6500. Got the titanium leader, uh, which we don't need for this fish. I have that for the gar, so I'll change that real quick. Okay, we saw nothing there. We got the fluorocarbon leader, of course, and then we have a barbless hook one odd. You don't need barbless. I'm just using barbless because that's what I had in my in inventory, but we also have the small minnows. Now, something I will say, I'll foretell uh, if this happens or not. I am a little worried using the small minnows that we might draw in some other fish that are uh, into small minnows, particularly something that's a little bit toothy uh, like the long nose gar here in Naharan. Um, so I am a little bit scared of that. I do think maybe the one, the number one hook might keep them away. However, I think if we're going to get a unique white crappie, it's going to be a little bit quicker, a little bit more uh, choosy, funnel in the larger fish to use a one-aught hook versus the number one hook. However, we're going to be using both that we can see depending on, you know, that he uses his number one hook in the video. We are going to do a little bit of both, a little bit of experimentation, if you know what I mean. So here we are. We, uh, we are in this location. That marker, I don't even remember what that's for. The Elder Gar, maybe? <laughs> We're going to go all the way over here. I'm going to throw down at the logs over there. Sunken Jeep is way off in that direction. If you want to have a little bit more information about where things are coming from. Hello. Give me my freaking thingamabob. Oh my god, it's not getting out. There it is. Thank goodness. Okay, so now that we have that there, we're going to throw out our telescopic rod with the minnows. I will say, like we saw in the video, we got this big hump right here. And now we're going to throw out, throw out. 
kind of on the edge maybe of these uh this moss moss weeds whatever you want to say and then with the feeder rod we are going to throw it out in the same location the other one's already being chased around to look like that was a that was a rather uh quick movement there it is six and a half feet deep there as we saw from uh, that feeder rod so that's good gives us a little idea of uh we want to change the depth on the float however we're gonna just sit here and see what we get everyone my goodness we have our first taker it is a trophy white crappie wow starting it off pretty high with the trophy white crappie first fish on the number one hook and the other one's off now it is also a white crappie another trophy white crappie okay well two for two on the trophy white crappie that's not too bad definitely seems like we're at least in the right location if we're nailing the trophy trophy white crappie that way throw this out here you kind of have to adjust for the way that it's gonna like the bobber is gonna arc because it's in the current right and it's in your uh, rod holder so it is gonna kind of arc with the current and then the bobber is gonna start leaning because the current wants to take it but there's no more line there if you're holding it in your hand you can let out some line so that it flows a little bit more uh you know naturally but we can't really do that when it's in the rod holder tell you what though the bites are few and far between we may have gotten two trophy white crappie but i've been sitting here on my phone for like two to three minutes two hours later Ooh, it's off and away it's off and away what in the freaking world are you joking me are you joking me it literally was running around and by the time we started reeling in the slack it was just a foot away from the bank so we just lifted that up out of the water a 14 foot flathead catfish out of nowhere i tell you what everyone I hate to say it. I hate to be that guy. I feel like a bad person because this has never happened before. But a three-year-old spot on YouTube, uh, I just don't know. I don't know, everyone. We might have to go somewhere else. But if anything, maybe we'll head back to the other spot and try it there. I don't know. I just don't know. I think we got a small fish on. Very small fish on. Good God. Pumpkin seed. Wowie zowie. Okay, so we are coming back to this spot. However, we're gonna cast out towards these weeds over here instead to see how that goes. I am curious how this uh, this float rod is going to work with this because it's gonna go with the current, but let's try it and find out what happens. Oop. Okay, and the float is away. Oh, this does not look like the right fish. It is another smallmouth. I, I dare I say I attribute that to the one-out hook. We have the feeder rod going off now, but it doesn't seem like that big of a fish. Oh, oh, it's another smallmouth, however. Okay, but that was on the number one hook. Ooh, I hate these small minnows, man. It's just such a big range of fish. Dare I say it, dare I say it. I am switching back to the wax arms with a one-out hook, throwing it over on this way. I am hoping there is some sort of divide between the white crappie and the black crappie. We're just gonna find out, I guess. Okay, both rods are going off at the same time now. This is a fairly decent sized fish, if it's the right fish that we're going for. It's a freaking carp. Ah! Oh! I think that's the maddest I've ever been catching a carp. <laughs> go, feeder rod, go, please. I'm assuming we have another small fish on this rod. It is ding-a-linging, but nothing is happening. They run a your sunfish. I am just bewildered by this man. The problem is that there's so many fish on this map that has uh, like overlap. Like the black crappie and white crappie literally have the same baits. I feel like there's overlap no matter how you how you want to do it. You know, it, you're either going to be catching bass or you're going to be catching carp or you're going to be catching freaking uh, a red ear sunfish or something like that. I, I don't know how to avoid it at this point, other than maybe, maybe, these really good times to be fishing are the worst times to be fishing for the smaller fish. Perhaps, during these best times, you're gonna be more likely to catch some big bass or something like that than the crappie. So maybe you need to fish at a less better, you know, less good time to have a better chance of catching crappie over a bass, for instance. This is another small fish. It is a white crappie, it looks like, though. So that's at least the fish we're going for. Dude, this rod is off and away. It's a big, it's gotta be a big fish. What is it, though? 
It's bass. Ah! Okay, we got two takes. Whoa, okay. Now, I'm assuming this is not the crappie. This is most likely a freaking flathead or something. It is, it's a flathead. We brought him in from 30 feet. How about that? <laughs> 19 pound flathead catfish. This rod's going, but it is also a small fish and it's not even got a fish on there. This is by far the longest test your spot video that we have ever done. And I don't know whether to be upset that the original spot didn't work or upset with myself that I didn't stick with the original spot because at the moment, every spot sucks. We can't, we can't seem to catch a white crappie at all. Okay, here we go. Fish on both, both lines at the moment. This is a white crappie. Oh, just a trophy, bro. Uh, what are you? What are you, buddy? It is also a white crappie. And another trophy, back-to-back -back trophies again. Uh, well, there's certainly a rod going off. Is it the right fish? It is the right fish, just not the right size. Three trophy crappie in a row, though. Trophy white crappie in a row, specifically. Even better. Both going off at the same time here again. Small mouth. You. There's a white crappie. Let's go! Freaking finally! I have been recording for 20 minutes now. Oh my god, dude. Seriously. What? So what can we say? Uh, Bulkin. Uh, sorry, I guess. My god, I just got impatient. Uh, to be quite honest, the time uh, that was in your video didn't work out for us. We fished the entire time, longest I've ever fished in one location for a test or spot video, and it didn't work out. However, we switched back to the same time that we caught the black crappie on, and we ended up catching the freaking unique white crappie right there, everybody. So there you go, white crappie. Uh, Bulkin, you're so, you were sort of right. I mean, we did get it on the number one uh, hook with a small minnow. Um, in this location that you showed off here, um, you can see the logs in the background where we caught the black crappie. We literally just walked around this rock and came out to where you can see where the kind of uh, river flows into the map. And, uh, and yeah, just caught it right off the edge of these weeds here. The trophy, uh, unique white crappie. So Bulkin, fantastic. If you guys want to check out Bulkin channel, obviously with all these videos, going to be a link to their channel in the description. Feel free to check them out. Um, his video is from three years ago. So the guy, he's been playing for a little while. Anywho, we're going to keep this dude fantastic. And just to show you again, what time we got him, uh, right here on this particular day, uh, with this, uh, particular rod, correct? Yeah. Bottom feeder rod. Number one with small minnows, um, on the map, I guess, if you wanted to spawn in, it would be at this location and, uh, yeah, that's going to work out. Do we mark it? Should we mark it? Let's just mark it. I'm going to run out of markers. I need to buy more markers. Unique white crappie right there. You can see uh, the uh, the coordinates if you really wanted them. Anywho, I think that's going to do it for this episode, everyone. Longest episode I've ever spent on a Test Your Spot series. Goodness gracious. I'm glad that it's over. though. <laughs> and there's so many more fish to catch here in the Heron. God. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like button, subscribe. As always, we got like 70% of people who uh, who still aren't subscribed to the BZ Hub, but watch our videos all the time. And uh, if you're one of them, then consider hitting the subscribe. We're not going anywhere. We've been here for like four years, everybody. We're just gonna keep on trucking. So uh, make sure you get in before you uh, be called a bandwagoner or something like that. If you want to join us our live streams every Monday, Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central, consider doing so. But until the next Test Your Spot test video, everyone, we'll see you next time. And as always, remember everyone, we're one planet, one family, game on.